You ever seen a uh, theme park or a science lab version of a black hole? It's that big plastic black funnel or white funnel, and you put a quarter or a penny in it, and it starts rolling slowly around the outside, and then starts going towards the drain, and then goes super fast as it's going down the middle. We've only gone about an inch from the rim. We're not even that far down yet. But as we go around, it goes faster and faster and faster and faster, and it's... 20, 30, 40, 50 million dead, black uniforms, war, buildings, whole cities on fire, mass death, bioweapons. Because that's what psycho demons release. That's what they create. That's their environment. That's what they like. That's what they've done. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of people murdered by government in the last century alone. Giant bioweapon labs all across the world publicly producing airborne weaponized garbage that kills 90 plus percent of those that come in contact with it. Stored in level two facilities everywhere, just waiting for it to be released. Zoological weapons, GMO, hundreds of species spliced together, injected into human embryos, monkey embryos, GMO dolphins released, every form of hellish bondage you can imagine, just systematic uh, preparing to be released. All of this is just getting in in line. You know, they're trying to train the military and police to kill U.S. citizens and arrest us. And they always say, that's treasonous. I want to see the law. I've talked to the troops on air. I've been to the urban drills. I've videotaped them training for this. And most of them, on average, about 80%, it's right about 79%, technically, say they won't do it. So now they're coming to them and going, here's NDAA. Here's the law. Train for it. Every ROTC. In the last 20 years, I've studied training to kill U.S. gun owners. They call them malicious. Every urban warfare drill in major cities with, with the uh, uh, Boy Scouts training to rat out their mommy and daddy, and now it's in the New York Times. Every drill training to execute U.S. citizens, every drill preparing for treason and corruption and out-of-control total evil, 100%. And now, Jack Bauer torturing people's kids simulated on TV to get the answers on the terrorist. By the way, in that Ron Paul article, do we have the video posted in that? Because uh, it's just a dead screen in here. That's what I was asking earlier. It's his flashback, uh, Ron Paul groped by TSA. That video is posted in that? Okay, great. Flashback, Ron Paul groped by TSA. This is about pulling up and being lined up, you and your family, and men putting their hands on your kids and your wife and you not doing anything about it so they can forcibly inoculate you. How do I know that? Because it's all in the Model States Health Emergency Powers Act, and it's in all the clergy response documents I got three years before it was leaked to the mainstream media. They've trained over 100,000 clergy last documents we got to, to, to go to FEMA camps, to take injections, and to let the state take your children. Your preacher in your town, in almost every case, is a FEMA minion getting a side paycheck from Homeland Security and is a traitorous, creepy, criminal devil up there looking at you as enemies, and he gets off on going and talking uh, to the military and Homeland Security and FEMA about their flock and writing reports on people that come to get counseling from them. At big churches, most of the counselors are Homeland Security spies. Everywhere, just scum and filth and trash and traitors and infraguard. I mean, it is just, it's just unbelievable what we've turned into. A massive army of evil with chicken neck do-gooders serving them in giant armies of hell and devilish worship. Absolutely hell-bent on delivering this country and the rest of the world into hell on earth. Ugh, man, I'm angry. Yeah! I told you again, you ever seen the thing where you throw the quarter into the black hole simulator and it starts real slow around the edge? And then as it goes around, faster and faster and faster and shh. We're about an inch down from the rim and the quarter's starting to go quicker. And when it goes down, shh. Hell is released. Boom. Boom. 
giant black op armies just lined up on battlefield lines who've been beta testing, tracking, studying humanity, shipping the drugs in, shipping the little kids out publicly, just setting it up, setting it up, setting it up, testing the military, testing the police, finding the operatives that'll follow the orders, lining up Hell's Army, lining it up, throngs of them, lining them up on the on the 50-yard line, right against us, looking right into our eyes, and I'm running around saying, ladies and gentlemen, red alert, get ready, get every, get warn everybody you can, it's hardcore, it's life and death. And then I've got to have all these idiots send me emails and see news articles, not just in mainstream news, but alternative going, Jones goes a little too far. You think all these histrionics goes anywhere towards the reality that in congressional hearings, you can type it into YouTube, Rumsfeld grilled on child kidnapping, and they say, well, what about all these kids being grabbed by DynCorp and disappearing in sex slavery? And he says, well, Dr. Chu, what happened with that? Dr. Chu goes, well, that's just they're allowed to under contract. They were put in a penalty box, uh, you know, for uh, one year on those contracts, but no one will get in trouble. And, she, and, and then the commerce people are like, so no one gets in trouble. And Rumsfeld said, no. Just like... The uh, federal prosecutor, one of the top federal prosecutors, is, is going to declare the fifth in Fast and Furious. Nothing's going to happen to them. They're going to ship guns into Mexico and ship cocaine and heroin in. And they're going to have drug dealers pushing on your kids. And then your kids are going to get busted by the cops and go work in a private prison. Or they're going to be raped and, and, and contract hepatitis and HIV and tuberculosis. And then they're going to go work at the restaurant where you eat and cough it on your food and you're going to die from it. The, the tuberculosis. Hope you enjoy it. Just an example. Just factories of disease, factories of pain, factories of birth defects, factories of cancer, factories of curses and devilishness and implosion and obesity and demonic entities and just hell's gates open, just valleys of pus and evil pouring out the curses of the new world order, the curses of abortion, the curses of serving evil, the curses of all the globalism, all their dark masters, all their dark generals, all their dark magicians, Bringing forth hell, bringing forth judgment, bringing forth annihilation. Giant robot armies, giant drone armies, tens of thousands of drones, weaponized, face scanning, coming into U.S. cities, scanning you, murdering you and your family. GPS coordinates for your front door to fire hellfire missiles right up you. Giant brainwashed troop bases with inoculated guinea pigs snorting depleted uranium until hell opens. More murder, more death, more sickness, more filth, always pressing on the filthy, degenerate nerve of power.